Hello, we are here now with uh, Head Cases, a brand new Twitch show for the Shadowcasters Network that we're just starting, all about Shadowrun Chronicles and uh, Boston Lockdown. It's uh, this this awesome game that um, that uh, we've enjoyed so far. We've gone through a lot of the little bit of character creation stuff and kind of. You know, it's a multiplayer game. You play with a group. That's why the four of us are here doing it. Uh, but uh, we've we've gone through a lot of that. Um, I'm going to quickly uh, just kind of introduce each other by asking you guys how your how your uh, how your day has been so far, Damien. How how you been doing today? Been crap all day. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. Garbage. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's been actually a pretty good day. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm actually excited to get this going. So. Yeah, you and I had I had the pleasure of doing my character creation with you, um, kind of earlier in the week. I guess n not really. It's Saturday, but um, uh, earlier several days ago. It was a lot of fun playing this game. No, it was it it was, and uh, and we barely made it through. So I can't wait to see how great we did today. Yeah, we uh, we had some fun uh, difficulties with. Uh, with stuff but um yeah so next we have um and i've got people uh, a little bit mixed up with names down at the bottom there you'll notice in the mr johnson spot is actually uh, our good friend opti uh, of the neo anarchist podcast i forgot to mention damien does the violent life podcast i'm sure we'll mention it more than once so um i apologize for that damien but uh opti um <laughs> i can't uh, help but point out that this is not the first time that you have switched up mr johnson he does it like every time yeah so it's not because i'm confused about you guys it's uh you know what it really is? It's because oftentimes when I'm like creating these uh, the assets for our stream here, um, I don't know whether to call you Opti or to call you by your your other name, uh, and um, and it's it, it alphabetically comes close to Mr. Johnson's other name. It's anyway, it, it gets things switched around, and I confuse myself. And but anyway, how have you been doing, Opti? I'll fix the names. <laughs> I'm actually doing really well. Um, I'm just, I, I had arrived very late. Uh, I wanted to get on here and kind of take care of everything, but I, uh, <laughs> essentially the, the food that I ordered for my family took way too long. And so I'm sitting there in the thing going like, come on, come on, come on. I have a shadow run thing to do. Don't you know how important I am? And they were like, <laughs> don't you like, know I don't who do I am? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, no. And I was like, come on, Opti. And they're like, who? And I'm like, they on Neo Anchors podcast. And they're like, what? I'm like, come on, Shadowrun. They're like, I don't know. I'm like, RPGs? Nope. Dungeons and Dragons? What are you talking about? So, no, that was it. <laughs> I'm nobody. Store, I'm reminded, so. reminded that, that the niche we occupy is, is exceedingly small compared to the rest of the world. <laughs> and uh, I am really pleased to have you guys along with us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and finally, uh, again, despite what the nameplates down there say, uh, is Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, how are you this evening? I'm doing well. Very well. Uh, super excited now that we're actually getting the chance to dive in and start playing these four-player co-op missions. I've been uh, tooling with my character entirely too much today, just messing around with the uh, you know, settings that I don't need to bother with that are already in place just because I want to been itching to play the game. So i um, super excited about that. I did take time to bake some chocolate chip cookies. So you, that. Pers you personally like like real mm -hmm. life mr johnson in the real world yes. baked cookies i didn't i was wondering if you I were able to bake cookies in this game or something uh, no i don't know anything about baking cookies in the game but i'm really fragging good at it in real life so. nice why have i never had any cookies that you've baked yeah i kind of want mr johnson cookies now maybe i'll bake some cookies and bring them to origins with me so Oh well, great. You, you I'm not going to that, but I'm Bobby's not, not be showing at up Origins, at Origins, so, so thanks for that. I guess that. I'll have to bring to Gen Con because I'm actually doing both, like, like everyone here should be doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, of course, I know. You know, I really would like to do both, but uh, it's the uh, the the reality of being the stay-at-home dad. I have to. Whenever I go on vacation, my wife also has to go on vacation because we don't have as much like people around family around to watch the kids as we we maybe would sometimes like to and sometimes we can work that out and sometimes we can't like this year uh my wife joined me for origins and you uh many of you i know um opti wasn't there but many of you got to meet her so yeah it was great to meet her she had a lot of fun and uh and yeah so so uh 
Anybody, do you, do any of you guys, I'm really excited about this, so I have to talk about it. Are you, do any of you guys play, have, or play the Switch, the Nintendo Switch? No. No, I'd really like to get one, um, both for the new Splatoon game that I know my daughter would love to play, and um, the Zelda game, which I've heard is very awesome, and I'm sure you'll it'll corroborate that. Oh, yeah, the Zelda game is great. Um, I've had a ton of fun with that, but... Uh, I'm doing some funny things with Mr. Johnson's green screen. Um, but uh, I, well, the reason I'm excited about it is tomorrow, tomorrow I am getting in the mail um, the uh, new uh, Mario game, Mario Odyssey. I'm really excited about that. So. Ooh, sweet. Right My son is obsessed with Mario, so you would be very excited about that if he knew. Fortunately, he's not popped up on his radar through his various <laughs> YouTube channels that he watches. Right. Isn't he didn't you tell me once sure before that he's going to soon. um he's going to uh he's gonna be Mario for Halloween? Yes. Yes, I'm gonna be the Luigi along with him, so Nice. <laughs> Luigi's my favorite. <laughs> Luigi's your favorite universe. You're gonna be who what? For Halloween, I'm gonna be Steven Universe. Oh. Nice. I get to watch the, any of those shows, but I need to. Mustache. I've heard they're funny. Uh, Steven Universe is amazing. It's like everything that's like, like it's the opposite side of the spectrum from um, Rick and Morty, as far as like dark and nihilistic. Okay, it's I like haven't seen any Rick and Morty and, either, and but I have some yeah. idea what it's about. Well, yeah. There you have it. It's a good show, so I hear, because I'm also the, uh, I guess um uninitiated when it comes to rick and morty but um i love me some bob's burgers I I in terms of cartoons so. <laughs> my name is it bobby his name is also bob yeah his name's yeah. bob so and it's about burgers my last name's frankenburger um, oh, 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 <laughs> oh no it starts what, my latest what do you show, mean it starts? It started for me got... 34 years ago, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I've, I've been getting hooked on lately is the Odyssey. No, the Orville. I'm sorry. What did I say? The Odyssey. The Orville. I've been loving that show. Has it been? Uh, has I it been really good? There's another episode airing tonight, so that's on the DVR. I'll be looking forward to checking that out. Yeah. And of course, Stranger Things uh, season one uh, dropping pretty much any minute now. Uh, yeah. Wait till after the stream is over to check it out. My daughter and I. Stranger Things season two. I'm looking forward to that. I'm a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. I've been watching Walking Dead season seven since it's been on Netflix, but I have been kind of up and down about that. I've loved the show a lot up until this point, but I kind of feel it's been going back and forth in its quality. So yeah, no, maybe that, I'm just getting that bored is, uh, with things. That is that is the truth. I I always I loved Walking Dead. It started to get it started to really for t my wife will corroborate this because she gets really really annoyed when i'm really critical of things because she's the type who just wants to sit and watch something and she's just like <laughs> whatever i'm just here for the entertainment and uh and um which is great you know that's that's perfectly legit but uh so i end up complaining about things even though i like it and she gets annoyed in the past two seasons i've just been complaining nonstop, and um i think it got better towards the end of this last season but you know it certainly has me at a point where i'm not like champing at the bit to to start up this next one that just started hmm. so when do we get started what are we what are we doing we're, we're gonna get I'm started just out in boston yeah we're, we're gonna we're getting started here in just a minute um i wanted to rem well damien while i get the game rolling and everything here since i had to adjust some things right right last second um why don't you remind everybody in the chat about all the different ways that they can um that they can cheer for us and and stuff. All right. Well, um, as as usual, as it seems lately, Twitch is trying to find ways to get people to throw money at creators, and we would, I guess, classify as a creator of something. So, if you want to uh, throw bits for this month, I guess uh, I think it ends at the beginning of November. If you make a single bit donation of uh, 250 bits. You get like a Halloween loot crate gives you a, a permanent uh, Twitch Halloween like uh, emotes. If you're into Twitch culture at all, there you go. Yeah. Which is 
And I'm sure there will be lots of really fun and uh, hilarious ways that we will uh, encourage you to cheer for us and 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 whatnot during the stream. Indeed. And as per the usual stuff, of course, I, um, we uh, adore you, regardless of if you throw uh, subscriptions or tips or anything like that uh, at us. But if you feel like it, we do uh, have a panel um uh, under the Twitch screen here, where you can actually, uh, where you can actually tip, and uh, and subscribe. Uh, subscriptions are awesome too. But even a simple follow does a lot for us, and uh, we just love hanging out with you guys and entertaining you. So, absolutely. So and eating um, in front of you, and eating in front of you. That is that is the uh, primary way that we respect our viewers is by eating in front of them. <laughs> 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 um, but if, without any further ado, I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, get us switched over to here. Yeah, if you're the decker, uh, you want to go ahead and set up a pan for us? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, send you guys an invite to uh, my personal area network. Um, area let's see. So let's see. Don't you like this... that segue? <laughs> Pretty smooth, huh? Yeah, especially when you pointed it out. I'm pretty sure that we are literally the yeah. only four people playing this game because I saw I think I saw one person and we all logged on and we just happened to be in the same place. <laughs> I saw some other people wandering about and talking about looking for teams and stuff earlier. Yeah. Yeah, every time I show up somebody's like, Hey, be on my team and I'm like, No. No thanks. <laughs> so yeah. I'm so, not here to play. <laughs> so one thing that we learned while we were doing our playthrough uh, as as pairs and everything is is that it's really hard to stay in sync with the um, with the what do you call it the uh, the text dialogue dialogue and everything and we were letting the dialogue that is voiced in the game go ahead and and uh, you know be voice acted by the people who voice acted it uh, but I think we decided that instead. We're going to lock down the volume for those voice actors, and we're just going to voice them ourselves so that we can stay in sync, and you can hear us in our amazing voice acting. Um, did I get uh, Mr. Johnson invited to the... Here we go. There we go. So um, hopefully you guys have your voice stuff down, and I guess we'll naturally figure out as the time goes on... Um, Who's voicing what? Anybody yeah. want to? Anybody want to give everybody real quick before we go jump into this first mission a recap uh, of what's been going on? You done eating, Opti? You'd be a good person uh, to remind everybody of what's going on. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what we have here is you wake up uh, in some sort of lab. Uh, you don't know why. You break out of the lab uh, with the aid of a Decker or Technomancer named Jane. And uh, once you escape the lab, it uh, kind of shunts you back in time. Not really, but in the story, like you kind of, you know, five weeks earlier or something like that. Um, and then you uh, are essentially just a new runner in town doing work for a guy named Smedley. Uh, you do a couple of minor runs uh, against a couple of gangs. And then you get sent on a run to uh, anybody help me out. I don't remember, though where you got sent on the run to. Yeah, I don't remember Some what it was. I was thinking Neonet or something. Oh, you know what? It must have been Neonet. Yeah, because there was a... Uh, I remember reading an email in there, an internal email from Miles Lanier. Yes. Uh, anyway, so Neonet uh, building to, to do some extraction or something like... or to do some uh, data liberation or something like that. Uh, and then when you get to the top, the uh, windows crash out and a uh, dragon flies overhead and uh and it creates kind of a kind of a commotion and apparently uh, after talking to everybody around when i got back they all said that the dragon was kind of luminescent and and rainbowy and was dropping some sort of rainbow cloud uh over uh downtown boston uh and i think that's kind of where we where we ended up right now yeah yeah Ooh, that sounds so scary a rainbow dropping dragon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's seems like more like trolls. fire than rainbows to me, but Rain rainbow fire. I didn't have this such a close look. Yeah, I thought about it more like an oil slick than an actual rainbow, but yeah. 
Ah, uh, fair enough. That makes rainbows. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to our resident uh, fixer here, Smedley. And um, I guess I'm gonna be voicing our main character. Does anybody else wanna read Smedley's lines? Can you do the, uh, the gruff uh, British troll? <laughs> I'll try that one. All right, here we go. But, but I can't see his... Uh, you should be able time. to if you talk to him at the same time. I think I actually already took your quest. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, then I will, for this first time, I'll go ahead and uh, read it. If, if And um, from here on out, we get, we'll do all, all the dialogue together. So he says, Smedley says, The dragon you encountered managed to crash land into the Fenway Stadium during the game. Uh, and oh, this is this is awkward. So, and then I say, that's gonna put the Red Sox playoff hopes in the Drecker. Ha! Huh, I see you've kept your sense of humor. Well, it also created a bit of a hullabaloo around the stadium and keeps uh, local law enforcement terribly busy with the aftermath. I sense what you're getting at. So, where's the where's the job gonna be? Now, ordinary folk would think of some second-rate burglary, but I have something better in mind. You're going to rob the Boston Red Sox trophy room. Um, <laughs> what? That's legit. <laughs> That's what you're going to have us do? <laughs> what an idiot. So, um, Smedley's, I'm what? He's got, uh, got some stuff in the game, right? I'm not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> With a fragging dragon in the stadium? Uh, no. The dragon's gone. Flew off north, according to the news nets. But how am I gonna get in? Night errand cops are swarming the place, no doubt. With all the mashed up fan, yeah, with all the mashed up fans, there are a lot of ambulances on the scene, so no one will look twice at another dock wagon crew passing through. So you have an ambulance stashed around here? Uh, not quite, but I know you can find one. Uh, this one just, and this one just happens to have the access code printed on the dashboard. Hmm. I can get you into a repair facility where one has been conveniently wiped, and Jane will provide Matrix cover. You've already worked with her. Yes, thank you, Smedley, I know. Um, yeah, whiz, sounds like a plan, then. I will send the coordinates and the passcodes for the facility to your comm link. Off you go, opportunity awaits. And that's that. I hate you so much. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go steal some, some socks paraphernalia. I guess so, yeah. So I don't. When I, you know you're in Boston. <laughs> so so why are we? So explain to me again why we're stealing Red Sox paraphernalia. So we just got attacked by a dragon, and now we're going to steal some baseball crap. It's yeah. valuable baseball crap. I think yeah, I think he's. I think Smedley is pretty optimistic that this stuff's going to blow over, and he's going to be able to fence this uh, Sox paraphernalia so this is just being opportunistic there's no nothing yeah. you know okay so we're just going in grabbing yeah. some stuff and hopefully gonna fence it all right i mean as much as you can trust a mr johnson to give you the reasons why he's sending you on a run <laughs> sure he talks all yeah. fancy but be behind all those pretentious lines uh, this is uh, sounds like a basic smash and grab but we gotta smash and grab an ambulance before we can smash and grab the place uh, some of that would be more figuratively than literal, of course. Right, right. Exactly. It just there will be actual literal smashing and some literal grabbing, I'm certain. Yeah, I guess I have to remember, Join the Anarchy uh, reminds us, let's be honest, nobody knows what the cloud has done yet. Yep. <laughs> what cloud? The, oh yeah, that cloud. I the the, the rainbow, rainbow cloud. <laughs> the oil slick cloud. All right. Yeah. All right, so you guys ready to jump in? Let's do this. Right, the sooner go. we can get done this, the better. Go to the mission. It's priority mission, sweet, sweet ride, is what it's called. It says, story mission, Smedley has hired you for a big heist in the Fenway, Fenway Baseball Stadium. To get in, undetected, you need to steal a dock wagon, ambulance car, and overalls to disguise yourself. Break into the repair center and get yourself a ride. Four-player co-op, people. And you're already, it, it loads you in. To my oh hey Opti by the way I kept uh, some like focus stuff that I picked up to see if uh, at some can point you if trade it is that something you can do I didn't know if you could or not so I figured you know who knows mission briefing with the codes provided by Sped Smedley the offsite repair facility is easy to get into you enter the basement and a strange smell of machine oil and disinfectant assaults your nostrils all appears quiet in the corridor. 
Enter the repair bay and unlock the code sequence from the central access console and go to the dock wagon ambulance to activate the lift to move it to the street level. Starting mission. Let's do this. I'm ready. All right, so anybody want to voice Jane? I'll do uh, Jane. All yeah, right, go ahead. Mr. Johnson. I jammed any alarms to the outside, but there are cameras and security on the ground, so watch your step. We don't have a lot of TikToks. How do we get to how do we get to the ambulance? You need to open the vehicle bay. Look for a large control console nearby. All right. And I, I do apologize to everyone from Boston. My accent is terrible, <laughs> but I'm gonna try anyway. Look, look, Please feel free to mock me in my attempts. Yeah. Listen, Bostonians, if you came to this stream for accurate portrayal of your accents, then I apologize. You're in the wrong stream. Or you came to the wrong place. Yeah. Yes, I mean no offense through my horrible portrayal of your accent. <laughs> there we go, Jane. There's I just... a locked storage room. Maybe you can hack the console. I thought you were the Matrix support. Doc Wagon brochure. Through careful selection Hey, of... can I read these? Yes. Yeah. Through careful selection of franchises and astute business acumen, Doc Wagon managed to maintain a high standard of quality, which quickly outstripped its local competitors. Although the restrictions on owning a franchise were tight and the cost was prohibitively expensive, by the end of 2042, Doc Wagon sold at least three franchises in every major UK city and had many more scattered throughout North America. Doc Wagon has remained the leader of the fast point of service emergency medical service market. There we go. I don't know if that was like corporate Opti or if that was Opti informational. That was informational either way. Opti. There's no such thing as corporate Opti. That's a lie. I think I saw a corporate <laughs> Opti once. Um, so what about this little area down here? Are we just choosing to go uh, right? Wonder what's it looks like there's some consoles. Can't, can't you guys jack into them or something? Yeah, I, c I can hack that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go, go down here and check what's in here. All right. Yeah, for some reason, reason, when Jane said hack, I'm pretty sure she didn't mean for me to use my rusty katana. Okay, Greg, so you tripped the alarm. This out. will wake up security. Hurry up. They'll be here in no time. All right. Goddamn funky town. That was Opti. That was me. That was me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Goddamn funky town. for my kind of hacking. Yeah. Maybe you should have oh. let me hack something first. <laughs> well, let's see. What do I do? Maybe if you were faster at it. It's all right. You'll pay. You'll be dead soon. <laughs> Summon Raven Bear. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here you go. Let's, uh, let's see if we can... Uh, Hook you up can with you a get that bear of... out of the way so I can move into silverback silverback deployed um, let's see I'm going to attempt to stun this guy over here all right that guy back there is stunned a little bit I don't right, know bear can the bear get to the other side of that god, maybe, so I can run yeah, up to him? On, on his next turn. <coughs> oh, I'm the last person with a turn? Yeah. Yep. All right, I better run up there. BD Thrall in the chat room wants to know at. when Opti is going to give us an informational on Dock Wagon now. <laughs> Oh, that bear went down. Get out of there, Opti. <laughs> oh, I can't bear to watch. The guy has a hell of a swing. <laughs> hey, Sky of Screens is just. I uh, got this guy. Just gave us a uh, hundred <laughs> hundred bits for Opti's camera awareness. <laughs> Thanks for the, All right. Thanks for the sure bits, that guys. Does that mean that like Opti needs to pay better attention to stop eating his crap in front of everybody? <laughs> <laughs> or does that mean that Opti needs to look at his? Oh, I just pushed a button on accident. I just ran. I think he's right, cheering yeah. for you because you uh you Maybe blew you our cover. Maybe you should take cover there. Oh, okay. Well, I I'm now out in the middle of nowhere. But thanks for being such a bullet magnet. It means I get shot a bit less. Go through a lot fewer t-shirts. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna mess this guy up. Oh, one shot. Woo! I need to take some cover. There's some Craig. guy coming up the hallway to me. Remind Ooh. me not to piss you off. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm a fighter too. But... Tell that to the dead guy. <laughs> He's not dead. 
It was, uh... Animal. Yeah, thanks. Silverback's got my back. Pritching! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to right. run over to this like console this and guy. hack it. Boom! Oh, that's two. When are you guys gonna start helping? Yeah. Uh, oh, from the, the from the guy who blew our cover. <laughs> you gotta be exciting. I just hacked two consoles while you were fighting, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, I better job. run on back there and uh, <laughs> make things Put silver back. Hands anyway. Make sure this guy doesn't get you. Wow, you move like fast. Got dash ability? Yeah, I can kick this off where I can move my full movement and still make an attack. And if the frag has been mocked, I get two swings on him. Ooh. Of course, I only needed one. I didn't. I, I didn't know you get two swings. I'm, I'm going to be marking stuff, marking them up. Yeah, I get a slight chance to get two swings on people, but if you mock them, then I get two swings for sure. Hey, I got a standard uh, again. stick. What'd you guys get? I got some kind of cyber arm or something. <laughs> I, did, I didn't read it before it went away. I'm going to go loot this thing over here. Ooh, elemental like essence. Sticks. There's still guys in the hall. Any of you guys lockpick? Yes, I do. There's a cab the cabin great. over here. I found something to try to demolish in here. I think I'll give that a shot in my next turn. I'm really more of a physical kind of gal. There's still... Guys in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your pants on. <laughs> we're looting. <laughs> oh, I thought those guys were gone. <laughs> Heyday, the consummate professional. Yeah. Oh, Drek. Oh, I just got shot uh, in the window. Oh, they oh, killed Opti. <laughs> Uh-oh. Opti's dead. I think I brought a med kit. All right, all right. All right, it's time to get serious. <laughs> Now it's time to get serious. Another now. one of our team is dead. <laughs> I told you guys I bought these med kits from me. I'm the one who's running, supposed to be running out and getting shot at. I have a med kit if I can get over there. I got two. I'm right on. I'm just trying to keep these guys off us. Anybody bring any grenades? Ow! I do have a... a I think I have a frag grenade. They're all paying respects to me. Oh my god, this is going very poorly. <laughs> we suck at this game. <laughs> I can't it believe won't how poorly. Use, it won't let me use a med kit. I think we just should just uh, board and restart the mission. I have a dog wagon card in my pocket. <laughs> Can we just restart the mission? <laughs> no. That's not how this works. We just oh, got, no. Thanks, Eric. Eric Demage just gave us uh, 202... <laughs> Thanks for the cheer, cheer, man. We need it. Cheers, bring luck. <laughs> Everybody at home is like, hey, thanks for making me feel better about the, my ability to play games. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, God, what do I do? Opti. Where do I go? <laughs> Don't leave us. Join the anarchy and gave us some, some more bits for uh, getting shot through the window. <laughs> like, I don't want to go anywhere. I didn't know I, you could do that. That guy was a fragger. Can I move home? Can I just go home? Will I get back up if, if the combat ends? I hope not. not. I just die. No, uh, I mean you get knocked down, you get back, you get up again. I'm never gonna keep you down. Oh no! Here comes two more guys to make sure that I can't stay. Down. Oh, Frag. <laughs> Come on, I'm grieving here. Oh my gosh. You bastards! This just got this really, really bad. <laughs> There's three new guys. All right, so um, when we die and we have to restart this mission, uh. Maybe we don't run into that room. <laughs> yeah, yet. but I did ask permission first. I mean, to be to be fair. Oh my God, they just keep coming. Yeah, they do. Um, it's like as if somebody tripped off an alarm in a corporate <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I stunned the three guys that joined us because you know uh, I'm cool. So you can't Jordan take Anarchy him. He says that we should use a med kit. Do we? Do we just not have a med kit? We have that? med got, kits. We have to get there and to, and be able to use them. I've got two Silver med back, kits. No. I've got two med kits, and I've tried clicking on them and clicking on him, and, and nothing seems to work. I used the med kit on me. That's all I care about me. Let's see. I'll take care of this drone, hopefully. 
Man, these guys are tough. <laughs> I, I, I oh, had to test it out. I and I guess the question earlier about, about the special on uh, Dog Wagon. I absolutely am going to be doing some of the lesser... <laughs> Funky town. Uh, no. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> got the nerd. Did you not notice what I did to you, Bobby? Mm -mm. I happened? shot you in the face myself. Oh, no. <laughs> what? You could do that? <laughs> yeah, I get, you know, I've got an area of effect uh, attack with the shotgun, so I turned oh, and shot shit. Bobby, and then that guy finished him off. Well. I'm taking a, a whole bunch of you fraggers with me. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, okay, about so that. Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we might. I, I think uh, for those of you watching, I think. Um, oh. I think man. what you will. Uh, for those who continue oh. to watch us over time. <laughs> uh oh, Jane said. What did Jane say? Drake, yeah, you can't even. You can't steal. even steal a car. <laughs> is that the right? Is that how Boston people say car? Car. Yeah. yeah. It's probably ka. terrible. Yeah. I think uh, what you right. guys will see who, who continue to follow the stream of this show <laughs> is that we will eventually, over time, develop a a, uh, a working sort of <laughs> teamwork. <laughs> oh, my God. screens with a big three, bit four, drop. Five, five, uh, for, uh, 501 uh, for, TPK, a, yes. for a TPK, yes, on our first <laughs> mission. <laughs> Thank you, Sky oh of Screens. <laughs> Well, I hope it's entertaining, at least. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Sky, Sky yeah. of Screens, you are soothing me here. Eric the Mage, don't set off alarms. Yes, I will. I would like to let it be known that the giant troll uh, street samurai was not the one who set off the alarms. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, it was the neo-anarchist. <laughs> don't tell me what to walk through and what not to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to skip through this start starting dialogue again. Go right to it. Um, so I guess let me go hack those consoles. All contractors, please oh, you know how you can tell. So for future reference, do you see how there's like an orange grid on the ground at that doorway? Yes, I okay. see that now. <laughs> Here, I'll go ahead and examine this thing again. We'll skip past that. We've already read that. All right. So let's carefully explore you guys while I hack these consoles. Someone go loot that room while I get the next one. Ooh, what does it say? The security control note is behind that door. If you can hack the door lock, maybe you can disable the cameras. Nice. Oh, pay Payday, you got the lock picking, so you need to go in that room I just opened. Yeah, there's this other thing that says use take, and it's all red. All right, I'll do it. Uh, see, see, we were trying to go pink mohawk. They clearly want us to go black trench coat for this one. <laughs> see, speaking of which, we'll get I was going through, and I was looking at the different uh, hairdo options that you could pick for your characters. And I have to say, I'm very disappointed in uh, the programmers for having the Mohawk's hairstyle, but n no color option of pink available. That's that's an oversight. All right, Jane. Excellent. That should take care of the internal cameras. All right. So we got the cameras. Does that mean that we're free to explore now? I don't know that we're free to explore, but... uh. Maybe we Maybe can... we shouldn't spread out so much. Yeah, let, we should probably stick together a little bit. Trying to get this lock. It's off these turn though. Well, I don't know if I should just chill or. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll summon Brother Bear. Just <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no more orange grid, and I don't see any baddies anywhere. Every time someone summons a bear in this game, I just get that Ted Nugent song in my head. Ooh, who can organ harvest? I can. Well, there's some organ harvesting to be done in that room. 
Yeah, it doesn't yeah. come up as uh, as much as you'd think in a in a facility like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's your bear's turn. I I just realized that. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> He just sits down right there. <laughs> I, I cannot tell you how 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 disappointed I remain that you can only summon bears in this game. Oh, lovely! I, my new item is a skimpy top. Here we go. Jock wagon is an international double A corporation headquartered in Atlanta, Cass. It was a pioneer in the medical services industry by offering unique medical insurances, including the high threat response on HTR, uh, using armed and in armored armed and armored vehicles and adding security personnel to their paramedic teams, the HTR was able to go into dangerous areas that no other paramedic service dared to go. Following that innovation, they introduced a get medical aid within 10 minutes or your on-site care is free, guaranteed. Later, they introduced the idea of subscription contract service for an annual fee. Client could get guaranteed and extended services along with discounts on health care payments. Perfect. Info from Opti. I have to say that I am absolutely delighted that you have a bear, so. <laughs> cool. Especially since he sits so cutely. Oh, so we, um, we've been playing around with uh, the, uh, and, and maybe we'll have a, I've been thinking about a contest for this one of these months or weeks or something, so you guys who are here should play around with Twitch's cool little clip feature and, and clip out fun little moments, because because there, if you get some practice, I may have. Uh, we may we may do a contest at some point for clips. Got a stun grenade. Hey hey, I smashed something, and it worked. Ooh, a frill vest. That. That's super first edition. I got stylus jeans. <laughs> stylus <laughs> jeans? Yeah, stylus jeans. Like, do it's they... like stylish, but you know you got room for all of the styluses and yeah. such. Yeah, I mean, I guess I am a decker. Oh. My cyber deck, I might need a stylus. Mhm. Mm oh, oh, I have to read Jane now. Sorry. Good. I'm in. I'm reprogramming the access code to unlock the elevator. Find some cover. I'll be done in a sec. How long is this gonna take? Oh, I'll have it open in a bit. Just sit tight. All right. I'm gonna take her advice, and I'm gonna sit tight. Hold. Hold position and defend. Oh, boy. Uh, Everybody in the room. That includes you, uh, Payday. I do what I want. Take cover. But if you die, then we have to deal I'm with it. I'm trying to get in. <laughs> I was, I was lockpicking. I'm not very good at it. This is trickier than expected. Hold on. Uh, All right, I'm in. I'm in. All right. The bear is taking all my cover options. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to get killed either. He's going to die yeah, anyway. He's going to fade away. Uh, let's see. How can I switch to the bear? There we go. Anybody coming from over there? I don't see anybody yet. Me either. It's surprising how few security tends to show up when you don't set off the alarms. BD Thrall 89 in the chat room is also a bear mage, so he says he approves. Oh, oh my! They have a Decker in the Matrix. Sit tight. BD Thrall also says if Payday dies, then Mr. Johnson has to drive. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a reference to our actual pl play. Uh, yes. Elric never had a chance to drive the vehicle. Felix. I love how we just get to sit here. And wait for Jane to play around in the Matrix. <laughs> it's just like like a game run by like one of the, like just a, a kind of average GM that makes his NPC do everything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jane Jane's the Mary Sue in our campaign. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Drek, they made you get ready to fight. Oh, what do like you mean they made you? No matter what. What do you mean made you? They made you. They made you. Ah. All right, who are you going after first, uh, Belladonna? Because I'm gonna mark them. Uh, do you see? Do you have any targets? Because I don't see any from my position. I got a target. There's one up top. I'll, I guess I'll mark them. It's the only one I see. Deploying Silverback. Oh, there's two. All right, there they are. All right, Bear, go get killed. <laughs> it's his. It's his job. Or her. I guess I I'll guess just I get in position. Presume. Hit. Come on. Let's 
not uh, personify animals. <laughs> oh, <Jeez>. snap. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> One down. How did that? Who did that? Oh, was it the... That was Silverback. The drone. I uh, marked the other one. Oh, there's one oh, coming hey, up the hallway. Look, there's one. Yep, there you go. What can I get? I get him. Oh, and now that I know they oh, can shoot, shoot us through, through the, the windows, window. yeah, I need to get on the other side of that console. <laughs> I missed so hard. <laughs> but you broke the window, <laughs> making it easier. That so epic. <laughs> Maybe I can shoot him. That worked a bit better. Yeah, let me try that out for side. Oh, I guess I just tagged him. Yeah. Oh, good to see you can mark as well. That's really handy for me. It yeah, shows really nice and bright in my augmented reality display systems. I try not to do that. It's too helpful. <laughs> I do nice. that instead. Um, doesn't doesn't a rigger's mark don't doesn't your mark do a lot for your uh, drone or something? Uh, oh, I can Yogi. I can just jump in. Nearly done. Get ready to board the ambulance. And then Belladonna have, says, you know what? You know what, Payday? Your street name's a missed opportunity. How the frag didn't you get tagged by the name Grumpy? Two drones coming in the main, the front door that we came in through. I stunned them. Find us some time. All right. I got them. Moving in. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Since they're mocked, That troll check can move. Out. My name's a missed opportunity. Your damn hair is a missed opportunity. They they weren't marked. They were just stunned. Ah uh, no, that's why well, I only got one swing. Uh, all right, I'm a bit exposed over here. I love a troll in a mini skirt. Doesn't everyone? I mean, I don't see. I do. I, don't, I, I I I've always assumed. I mean, I like. As much as anybody. I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> Sky screen says a troll sized miniskirt is just a skirt. <laughs> Whoa, hacks. I got it. The garage is open and the ambulance coded to accept you as registered drivers. Just get in, I'll activate the elevator and get us get you on the road. Oh, it's on hey, the other side. Lovely. Down here. You know. Don't worry, I got I got your back. I'm marking that new guard that added. All right, let me hit him because I'll get a double swing. Oh, oh, never mind. So I know this already because I played through the intro stuff with Payday. Uh, Silverback Payday's drone is a kill steal. So, um. How can I be a kill steal when I 100% him? Whoa, what did, what did just happen to me? <laughs> I shielded you. Just wow, to have something to do. That's useful. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna get back into cover here. I'm practicing myself. Oh, you practice. just got what a dumb security guard just stunned grenade a drone. Ow! Thanks for hey, shielding shot me. Funky down. I need to take cover here, and then. There's a whole lot of them. Maybe we should just beat feet out of here. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Yeah, wow, let's was... let's retreat, guys. There's more added. I'll stun that group that just joined and we can just bail. I'm just gonna run for it here. You guys are crazy if you stick around. Oh, my stun is on cooldown. We're going. I'm, I'm out of here. <clears throat> yeah, I just noticed that like my, my coolest stuff is always on uh, cooldown. My coolest stuff. Coolest down. Systems compromise. Keep keep workshopping that pun there. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot let you do that. <laughs> I'm uh, running for my life. Smack talk there. Were you typing yeah. that or does it do that on its own? What the drone? Yeah. No, it did that on its own apparently. How, how close are you guys? Are you guys pretty much all down there? We're we're making our way down. I mean, we're right near you. Hey, Silverback's gonna try to buy us a little time. here. Yeah, I could be closer, but I wanted to move from cover to cover. Snatch and run. Uh, come on, Pity. Move those stubby little legs. 
Come on. Prove that you deserve those lightning bolt sneakers. <laughs> Where were those shoes from the uh, the sand lot? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Dang. What, the, uh, what were they, the PH Flyers or something? Yeah, the P something Flyers, yeah. Hmm. Well, at least Silverback bought us a little time. All right, I'm in the green box. I'm going too. Let's get in this ambulance. We're out of here, chums. Sweet, we stole ourselves a ride. I've keyed it into the grid link. We're going back to the boss man. Come on, Jane, son. You're, you're making me think you've never done this before. Karma! Oh, Dose. here, I thought there was like another step to the run. It's like no, that's it. a separate that's... run. Okay. <laughs> step one. God, God forbid you tried to do that mission, you know, the wrong way. This is, th yes, then it starts up the uh, driving mini game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I guess I'm going to talk to uh, Smedley here. So everybody do that in case we got... Uh, there we go. Well done, but you know this is only the first part. I assume you found the uniforms in the back of the ambulance? Yep, uh, pretty ugly ones at that too. I looked at the manifest. They... And I quote, provide a professional yet cost-effective attire for on-location and mobile medical service providers of pay grade three and below. Uh, I have no idea what that means. It means put it on and no one will think you're anything but a low salary pavement scraper. So when do we head out anyway? As soon as you're ready. Pa-ching! More karma. Got a dock wagon card. Basic. Dock wagon overalls. Some new yen. Put put these babies on. What oh, I guess to get? I guess should we be putting those on? Um, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet we probably have to. Let's go ahead and put on our new dock wagon digs. Is it is it just an upper body deal? Uh, yeah. Oh, that frilled vest looks horrible. I wish you could see mine. I gotta remember, I had a suit vest on, because I want to put that back I on. I thought, um, I didn't get the extra karma or money reward, and now when I talk to Smedley, he wants me to go do the ambulance run. What? Well, I don't know what to uh, tell you. <laughs> can you, can you uh, exit out of the run, Bobby, and then let Cliff do his deal? Oh, I haven't started the run. I mean, I think, uh, yeah, because they're probably part of the same team. That's probably what's, what the problem is. That's weird. Oh, actual play over. <laughs> yeah, I don't have um, dock wagon clothes either. <laughs> That's Where odd. do you find those? What category is it in? Upper body. All the way do at the bottom. If, uh, and do you still, are you oh, still wait. on that mission? Cyber dock overall? No. Or, yeah, I think so. Should no, be it's... red overalls. Hey, join the anarchy. Give us five bits for a, a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's dog wagon overall. Maybe, um, maybe if I kick you out of the group, you can... Uh... So what mission are you on? I don't need, know how to check, actually, but it, it when I talk to Smedley... Um, it said ask for run, and I clicked ask for run, and it, it wanted me to do the dragon one. The dragon one? Oh. You no, already... no, no, the one right after the dragon one. The, the ambulance stealing one that we just did. Ah. Uh... Well, that's... Does uh... everybody need to have that mission before we go on it? I think that's what happened. All right, let's do this. We got we to gotta get Cliff back up and running, or this will get fragged up. Yeah. So we just got to do that mission again. Just, just, just rip through it? Yeah. Sounds good to uh, me. Crap. Yeah, I think, um, what, so let me ask you this. When we did the mission before and we were talking and we picked it up, did you pick it up also? Or I did, didn't actually oh. talk to him before going in. I uh, think okay, then that's, that's what it is. We just need to make sure from here on out that uh, we all go through the whole dialogue when we get a that mission. That is really irritating. No big deal. We get to do it super and fast this time. Somebody else is going to have to raid Smedley because I just went and asked him for a run and now I can't escape it. 
It's cool. We're gonna go on Belladonna's run. She's going to uh, invite us. I wonder if um, if you go through, talk to Smedley, and then go on to the uh, start the run. It will. I bet it will uh, have us go to yours. Uh, I'm not the hosting player, so I think we have to quit the group and I have to reform it. Okay, no problem. I'm uh, closing the group. So you invite us. I left the group. You didn't kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. You can't fire me. I quit. Hey, thanks, Rio, Rio Pell, for the, for the cheer. Hey, thanks.